They did not play last season due to COVID. Um, Shazy did play a modified se a modified um, schedule. Uh, Crown Point did not feel the team last year. The officials for today's matchup. Uh, central central official is Terry Kowalewski. Near side official is Steve Reed. Near side official is Rick Carpenter. And Ball Boy is Brian Norcroft. <laughs> Ball Boy, Athletic Director. Here, um, about an hour ago, so, oh, up. stop drinking, it's cloudy out, so this field is uh, is is wet. Uh, all that does have the drainage, um, it will be slippery out there, um, because of the dampness. And uh, we are underway, as you'll see in the uh, broadcast, the, the camera, or excuse me, the clock and the score does not work. Um, older sister, I will teach you as much as I can. Moving forward now, I pass to Audrey Langlois. Langlois, ball into the box. Blocked down. Juliet Swan. And off the end line, Crown Point yields a quick. Shot.
and if that occurs. Lucas clears it away off the foot of Avalisa Peters. You throw in quickly here for Shay Z at Caitlin Harvey. Throw off the shoulder of Langlois now. Park Parker in the middle, or Pratt in the middle, excuse me. McAuliffe is taken down and referee thought for the kick as Lucas lines up to take it. And quickly, Bell's bouncing around off the chest of Gagno. She tries to get a shot toward goal, but Dupree. Brooke Stevens traps it down. Now Stevens getting turned, looks for a pass to Langlois. She is able to control this. To get past her mark, there to help out is Bellrose for Jay-Z. Throwing again for the Panthers. Avalisa Peters gets the ball in. Trapped down by Harvey. Ball's cleared. Now here, Lucas on the far on the, on the far end, pressured there. By Peters cleared that off the sideline, throw in for Shazy. As Harvey goes to retrieve the ball, she'll take the throw in. Freshman defender for Shazy is Caitlin Harvey. Ball is placed into the eighth grader Lily Pratt. The ball goes off. Um, Crown Point defender, so throw in again for Shay Z. Stevens is called up from Junior Varsity, tried to trap that down. Now it's going to be throw in for Crown Point. Lamont. Checking back with pressure on her back. Antonio outside. Trying to communicate with Puckro. Now lead ball looking to call up down nicely. Still trying to get these crown point numbers on the quick. Langlois trying to get past her mark and Sierra Harris. Langlois now has it. Looking to serve. Top of the 18. Pratt unable to trap it down and cleared away. Now Stevens traps it. She tries to go outside to Langlois, but stopped and cleared away there by Harris. Shot towards goal from Lexi Clark. McAuliffe has it. Shot towards goal by Dupree. A very nice by Dupree. Throw in for crown point. Substitution for crown point as Alexi is going to check in. And she'll give Eleanor Harmon a break. Just under 30 minutes remaining here in the first half and no score here between Jay-Z in the green and Crown Point in the white. Shay-Z in the blue seat. 
come out and block it down, parry it down. Pressure. Pratt. Well, left footed punt by the keeper. Midfield. Knee on it. There's Lawrence toward Gibbs. Langlois intercepts it for Shazy, but she clears it off the sideline. Throw in now for Crown Point. Toward clear there by Powers. Good ball lead there for by LaFountain. Lucas and LaFountain chasing the ball down on the far side. LaFountain gets turned with it, but on the foot of Lexi Clark, sophomore stopper for Shazy. On Shane, KZ, in front of their supporting crowd. It's about 53 degrees here. Not much of a wind, really. The flag is barely moving. So chilly, chilly damp night here in, in Apple Country in Shazy, New York. There's a block by Abigail LaFountain, again, leading scorer. A little bit even touch that ball, which would have kicked, but that way. Sierra Harris for Crown Point clears it toward midfield. Stepping up there was Clark. She lost it to Gibbs. And now it's Alyssa Duchesne, blocked by Gagno. Lamont clears it forward, looking for LaFountain. LaFountain moves it toward the out for Lauren Sawyer. Some pressure here by the Panthers. Lauren Sawyer with pressure on her. From Abby Huckro. Huckro clears it off Sawyer. So that's win for Shay Z. Georgia Bell Rose to take. Defender. Defender. McCall is streaking toward goal, coming over to help. It's going to be Sierra Harris. Lead balls. Nice cross there by McAuliffe, but Audrey Langlois had snuck. The official on the near side, Mr. Carpenter, caught that and raised the flag. So, indirect kick here for Crown Point, right at their six yard box. Excuse me, uh, Steve Reagan on the near side, official. 26 50 remaining in the first half, and no score here at George Brenner Field in Shay Z. So it looks like the game direct's gonna be right near the penalty stripe. Harris tries to trap it down for crown point. She moves it forward looking for Gibbs. Stepping up there was Harvey for Shay Z. Now the ball's bouncing around the middle. Harvey chips it forward to Langlois, who goes central with it, looking for McAuliffe. Cleared away there. A swan. Huckrow checking back. Watches the ball go off sideline for a throw-in. Substitution for Shea Z as Avery Parker checks in. Eighth grade defender. And she's going to be taking Georgia Bellrose off on the far side. McAuliffe has control for Shay Z. Gets past the defender in Lamont to Gagno. Now Gagno back to McAuliffe. Blocking that pass nicely was Lauren Kimball, the sweeper for Crown Point. Now it's Pr Pratt with a shot towards goal. But Dupree is there to smother that one for the Panthers. Lily Pratt with a couple good opportunities here for Shay Z early on. LaFountain traps that down. For Gibbs, blocked there by Lexi Clark. Now Clark has it, getting past a couple of defenders. Clark taking on her defender, gets around that. Now she's got Lamont to contend with. Through ball looking for Pratt. Kimball is there. Pratt bounces it off Kimball, so that's going to yield the third corner of the match here. D. Shot six to nothing in favor of Shay Z. 24-40 remaining here in the first half as there is no score. 
Ava McAuliffe will take this corner kick for Shazy. McAuliffe, nice looking service. The ball does bounce. What every coach doesn't like to see is the ball bounces all the way through the 18. And now here's Huckrow putting the ball central onto the foot of Clark. Clark using her support in Harvey. Harvey outside to Langlois. Langlois now looking to serve toward the middle. Bounces off of Pratt. There is Kimball for crown point. Lauren Kimball cuts it back, tries to clear it. Blocked there by Pratt. Langlois now heel cut but cleared away. We got a foul, uh, foul with a push call there on Kimball. So it's gonna be a direct kick for Shay Z again in a dangerous spot as Hadley Lucas trots up to take this direct kick. Right out the corner of the 18. Ball's bouncing, gets past McAuliffe. That was a golden chance for her just to get a knee or something on that ball. Unfortunate of, turn of events there for Shazy as they could have used that shot for the goal. Substitution for Crown Point as Eleanor Harmon checks back in. And she appears to be taking Peters. Kimball will take, Lauren Kimball will take the goal kick for the Panthers. Blocked down by Sam Gagneau on the far side. Alyssa Duchesne's watching her. Gagneau goes to the corner, looking for service. Swan is battling with her. Gagneau goes down. Kimball's there to clear the ball away. Going to be a throw in for Crown Point as the ball bounced off the Shay Z player on the far side. Neither of these teams are ranked in the uh, latest New York State Sports Writers Association rankings of the Class D girls soccer. Here is Gagneau with a shot toward goal onto the foot of Langlois. Langlois looking to get a shot. She tries to shoot, blocked there by Alexis Gibbs. So that's gonna yield the fourth corner kick of the match here for Shazy. And as um, any good soccer fan knows, the more corner kicks you give up, the better opportunity and the better chance for the other team to score. Um, ev eventually it's going to happen as McAuliffe lines up to take this corner kick. Low ball. Blocked down by the crown point defense. Ball's top of the 18. Lexi Clark takes control. She's looking for a shot toward goal, but it's well wide. Good idea to take that shot. Although Marissa Dupree has been tested early on. Shazy has six shots toward goal. Or excuse me, six shots on goal, six saves registered by Marissa Dupree. Dupree split the goalkeeping duties this year with uh, number 19 out there, Eleanor Harmon. Uh, Harmon had 110 saves this season, and Dupree had 108. So lots of shots on goal. There's McAuliffe, shot toward goal, but high and wide. So goal kick again here for Crown Point. Eleanor Harmon did register one shutout this season for Crown Point, and that was in a 4-0 victory over Wells. Lauren Kimball taking the direct care of the corner goal kick, rather. Playing Lois in the middle. McAuliffe traps it down, steps over. Little ball to Pratt. Pratt goes to Gagneau. Gagneau shots, shoots and scores. Sam Gagneau. From near the penalty stripe, gets the ball past the goalkeeper, Marissa Dupree, and it's 1-0 Shay Z with 20 minutes and 33 seconds remaining on the clock. That's going to be Gagno from Lily Pratt. Second leading scorer for Shazy this season. Scored for the season there. Nice play. Nice 
by Lily Pratt. Set up also there nicely by Audrey Langlois. Harmon has the ball. She tries to pass the ball back to Gibbs. And Sawyer bounced it off the arm of Brooke Stevens. So it's going to be a direct kick for Crown Point now. As Lauren Kimball trots up to take this for Crown Point. Curiously, though, there's four defenders back behind the ball for Crown Point. So they're very hesitant to put any players forward. Kimball chested down by Clark and then cleared away by Lucas. Lamott punches it back in, but Stevens is there for Shay Z. Stevens gets it past Lamott forward looking for Pratt. Running back for Crown Point is Sierra Harris. Harris is content to clear it off the side. It'll be a throw in for Shay Z. Lauren Sawyer now. She loses possession to Kate Hart. Kicks the ball forward. Swan tries to clear it away. It's chested down by Huckro. Happy Huckro on the far side for Sam Gagno. Sam Gagno going to the line. She's going to serve back. Service off the post. And then cleared away by Swan. That was a cross that was very close off the upright. Stevens, top of the 18. Stevens with a shot to goal. Off the corner of the crossbar and upright. That would have been a heck of a shot and goal there by the freshman who was just called up from the JV squad here at Shea Z. Georgia Belrose checks in and she's going to give Caitlin Harvey a break on defense for the Eagles. Nice shot there by Brooke Stevens. 18.30 remaining here in the first half. Shea Z holds a 1 0 lead on a Sam Gagno goal. Kimball, who's been very busy back there as the Panther sweeper. Now it's Abigail LaFountain. Forward to Gibbs, blocked there nicely by Lucas. And Langlois going forward for Pratt. Harris is there, and she's going to clear it away. Bellrose chips the ball forward, trapped down by Langlois. Langlois goes outside of the foot, but Harris is there to intercept it for Crown Point and clear it away. Clark forward to Stevens. Stevens nice through ball to Gagno. Gagno it away by Swan. And now the Shazy defense. Hadley Lucas is there. She's unable to get it forward as Harmon gets her foot on it. Now it's Avery Parker on the far side. Abigail LaFountain steps in front of Parker and drops for her support, who clears it away. Lucas now forward, gets past McAuliffe. Harris and Pratt battling. Pratt tries to get an outside pass to Langlois, but it was blocked. Now it's, Ka it's you know, Catherine, it's Audrey Langlois. Square ball to Stevens. Stevens looking for a shot again, perhaps. Nope, she's going to try to pass the ball to Pratt. Cleared away by Kimball off of Pratt to Langlois. Langlois service, top of the 18. Gagno tries to trap it. It gets through her, through her feet. Left-footed shot, deflected. Ball's bouncing around. Lamott is there for Crown Point, and she'll clear it out of danger. Lexi Clark on the far side being watched there by LaFountain. Parker punches the ball forward. Kimball is there for Crown Point, and she'll clear it away. Clark steps up nicely, traps it down, forward to Gagno. Gagno square ball to Stevens. Stevens, top of the 18, looking for a shot. Gets the shot off. Jits gets through Dupree, but it was just wide. So that will be a corner kick once more as the fifth corner kick of the match for Shea Z. Had that bet on goal, we might have seen the first varsity goal there for Brooke Stevens. McAuliffe to take this corner kick for Shea Z. Good service. Ball bounces off the back of a defender. Clark goes down and cleared away by Crown Point. Belrose trapped it down. Looked like a hand, handled ball. The official did not see it, but his sideline helped him. They have, micro they have uh, microphones and earpieces, and uh, they have those available here in sectionals in Section 7, so that's an opportunity or an occasion there of, of um, good communication by the referees to get the call right. 
Direct kick. And Kimball one more time gets the ball forward. Trapped down there by Gibbs. Clark clears it away for Shazy onto the foot of Pratt. Pratt, lead ball looking for McAuliffe. Gets past her. McAuliffe now shot blocked by Dupree. Good save by Marissa Dupree coming out to cut down the angle on McAuliffe. And it's going to be a goal, a corner kick rather, one more time for Shay Z. Lamont blocks that down, and Gibbs now going to clear it for Crown Point. Stepping in front is Belrose as she chips it back in. Right to Dupree, she watches it go off the end line for a goal kick. Alyssa Duchesne will check back in, and she's going to be taking off uh, Alexis Gibbs to give her a break. 14-20 remaining in the first half. Shazy 1, Crown Point 0. Is it up? Top of the 18, Pratt tries to trap it down. She's knocked down. And is the officials not going to give a penalty kick? It's just outside the 18. As Pratt was, was hit hard and went down. So direct kick here. McAuliffe, I believe, will take this direct kick. She's going to be asked for 10 yards. She didn't ask for 10 yards. Blast it through the wall. And seems as though it might be a wasted opportunity for Shazy. Direct uh, goal kick here for Crown Point. Kimball clears it away for the Panthers. Now it's Lexi Clark. Looking to lead the ball for Pratt. Cleared away there by Harris. Now it's Stevens. She pushes it outside to Langlois. Langlois traps it back to Stevens. Stevens, top of the 18. Shot towards goal. Good looking shot. Blocked away by Dupree. Another corner kick for Shazy. Dupree wasn't sure if that was going to be wide of the goal or not, so she pushed it with her hand. 12.45 remaining in the first half. 1 0 Shazy. Ava McAuliffe to take this corner kick. This fifth, sixth corner kick for the Eagles. Good looking ball. Gagno got a foot on it. Blocked away. Another corner kick for Shazy. Good looking ball. Off the thigh of Sawyer. And it might not be a bad idea to try a short corner kick here for Shay Z. I'm not sure they have that in their playbook at this time. McAuliffe now again to take this corner kick, third in a row. Off the head, bouncing around. Gagno trying to trap it down. She pushes it back outside to McAuliffe for another service. McAuliffe now. Shot toward goal, it's going to be high. That was a good, a good idea there by Ava McAuliffe to take that shot. It was a short, short angle, but not a bad idea. Stevens gets her foot on it, but then it's cleared defensively by Celia Peters. LaFountain, who's switched sides now. She's on the near side. Ball's taken away by Parker, who followed her right over. Avery Parker's on her. Lily Pratt now, trying to get through. Taken away there by Kimball. Peters now, trying to clear the ball out of, the, out of danger. Harmon has the ball taken away by Georgia Belrose. Belrose looking for a through ball to McAuliffe, but cleared away by Kimball. Belrose going to use her support in Lucas. Had the Lucas former midfielder, so she has excellent foot skills. She has taken on the position of sweeper this year as a nice change of fields for Langlois, and she mishits it, unfortunately. Good opportunity for Shay Z as Langlois mishits the ball off the end line for a goal kick. 
Ten and a half minutes remaining first half. Shazy won Crown Point nothing on a Sam Gagneau goal um, about midway through the first half. Stevens blocks it for Shazy. She has pressure on her back as she's shoved away by Celia Peters. And Stevens comes back and hits Peters hard as Peters goes down. So a little bit of retribution there as the Eagles give up a direct kick. You may see, I don't know if you can see it well on the camera or not, but there's a, a bunch of brown stuff behind the, the fence there. That's all corn and planted here by one of the largest egg farmers in New York State, and Drew's Poultry. We call it the Field of Dreams up here. And uh, this time of year, they start their harvest. They wait till it gets real dry. Here's Gagno with a good opportunity. Blocked there nicely by Swan as she clears it beyond midfield. Hadley Lucas goes back for Shay Z. So I have no idea how many thousands of acres of corn Jeru's plants um, and harvest each year for their 2 million plus chickens that they have uh, that grow eggs here in uh, distributed all around New York State and, uh, and beyond. So that's the, uh, that's the corn you see behind the goal over there on the east side of the field. You keep going in a straight line behind that corn, eventually you run into Lake Champlain. Harmon on the far side trying to get the ball past Belrose. It goes off the sideline. Belrose to take the throw for Shazy. Off the foot of Duchesne. Now here is McAuliffe doing a little dancing. She's going toward midfield to try to free herself from some defenders. Watching her is Celia Peters. McAuliffe's going to cut it back as she does. That freed up some space. She has Lamott to get past now. A little chip ball to Gagno. Gagno trying to set up her left foot. She likes her left foot. Gagno now shot toward goal. Blocked there nicely. Juliette Swan one more time. She's done a nice job defensively over there on the right side. Clark. Pressure from Harmon. Clark goes outside, but it was a little too close to the defender. She tries to clear it. That was Ava Peters. Now it's Langlois trying to get past Ava Peters. Clark steps up, shot toward the middle. Kimball's there. She low, hits a low ball to try to clear. Ball's caroming, caroming around. Now it's Lily Pratt, shot toward goal, blocked by Harris. And Celia Peters clears it toward the sideline. Pratt trying to serve the ball. Kimball's there, and Pratt unable to save it, and a goal kick. Substitution, Alexis Gibbs will check back in for Eleanor Harmon for the Crown Point Panthers. He tries to give it back to Pratt, cleared off the end sideline rather by Peters. So throw in for Shay Z. Lois quickly gets the throw in. That's an illegal throw, but the officials will let it go. Lexi Clark now forward to Pratt. Pratt cuts it in the middle to McAuliffe, but the offsides flag was up as McAuliffe buries the ball in the back of the net, but offsides on the play. So the offsides trap worked for Crown Point. Kimball will take the indirect kick here for Crown Point. That's Alexis Gibbs on the far side. Now it's Stevens. Moves the ball forward to Langlois. Langlois going central to McAuliffe. She didn't expect it to get to her. Gagno stepping up. And she takes down her defender in Kimball. It's going to be a direct kick for Crown Point. Right around the penalty stripe. 
inside their own 18 yard box. Shots on goal are Shazy 10, Crown Point 0. Five minutes, 20 seconds remaining here in the first half. Shazy 1, Crown Point nothing. Audrey Langloy gets past her mark in Ava Peters. Peters recovers. Now Langloy is looking to serve. Good looking ball toward middle. Ball's bouncing around McAuliffe. Left footed shot and she scores. Ava McAuliffe with the assist to Audrey Langloy. Shazy up 2 0. 4.52 remaining in the first half. A little bit of history for the Shazy fans that may be watching or listening. That goal is Ava McCullough's 54th career goal, and that ties her with Keely Dwyer from the class of 1991, my class, as uh, 54 goals, career goals. So a nice career thus far, and there's, uh, she's only a sophomore. So Ava McCullough's got many, many more goals than those magical feet of hers. Here is Lily Pratt trying to get past Lamont. Abigail Lamont battling Pratt. Central ball looking for McAuliffe again. Shot toward goal, but it's going to go wide. Good idea to go against the green with that shot by Ava McAuliffe. As I mentioned, she is a sophomore. Started playing varsity as an eighth grader. Lexi Clark traps that ball down, cleared away by Lauren Sawyer. So throw in for Shazy, just inside crown point end. Avery Parker gets the ball in. Brooke Stevens trying to get past and cleared away by that I believe is Abigail Lamont. Now it's Brooke Stevens. Pass Peters forward to Langlois. Langlois tries to get past Sierra Harris. Pratt goes down. Kimball's over there to pressure her. Pratt gets turned on her. Pratt now in the 18, tries to get past Harris. Pratt going toward goal shot, and it's in. Lily Pratt with the assist going to Audrey Langlois, I believe. 3 0 Shazy. 3 11 remaining here in the first half. So two quick goals here by Shazy toward the end of this first half. A bit disheartening, I'm sure, for this Crown Point squad. Three minutes remaining in the first half. Shazy now with a 3-0 lead here at George Brendler Field in Shazy, New York. So it was Lily Pratt from Audrey Langlois. Langlois' second assist of the game. Now here is said player, Audrey Langlois, going up the side. Square ball to Stevens. Stevens traps it down, tries to get turned. Back, feeds it back to Langlois. Nice looking ball. Good speed in Audrey Langlois as she goes toward the end line, looking to serve. Good looking service blocked there by Lauren Kimball. Langlois recovers with Harris there, and Sierra Harris is content to hit it toward the sideline. That was um, Riley Riley Geenan, that's the first time I've seen her, and I apologize if I've missed her out there for Crown Point. Here's Lily Pratt in the middle to Stevens. Stevens, nice little ball back to Pratt. Now Pratt, service to McAuliffe. McAuliffe traps it down, but she's not able to control it well. Now she recovers, shot toward goal. Ball's bouncing around. Pratt, nice little move and shot off the post, and Gagno fires it over the net. Oh, good opportunity there for Shazy. Another nice shot against the green by Lily Pratt. 
for Shea Z, and it goes off the upright. That's three posts here in the first half for Shea Z as well. One by McAuliffe, one by Pratt, and one by Stevens, if I remember correctly. Or no, the first one was Gagne, I think. Anyhow, minute and 20 seconds remaining in the first half. Time winding down. It's become a decent temperature-wise night. Mid to low 50s, it's comfortable. No wind, no rain. Good opportunity for Pratt as Dupree comes out to make the sliding save for Crown Point. Clark traps that down. Now Alexi Clark again. Ball toward the middle. Gagno to Stevens. Stevens shot toward goal and right into the arms of Marissa Dupree. She's been busy this first half. She saved 11 of them. The fountain had the balls taken away there by Parker. Now it is Langlois to Stevens. Cleared away there nicely by number 23, Abigail Lamont. Sylvia Peters is now going to clear the ball at the sideline. That's going to do it here for the first half in this Section 7 Class D quarterfinal. Shea Z with a 3-0 lead over Crown Point. In this Section 7 Class D quarterfinal girls soccer match between Shea Z and Crown Point. Shea Z the number two seed in green. Crown Point the number seven seed in white. And Shea Z holds a 3-0 lead over the Panthers here to start the second half as Ava McAuliffe quickly takes control of the ball, trying to get past the players, and Celia Peters takes it away, clears it toward midfield. Foul there called on McAuliffe. So direct kick for Crown Point early on. Lauren Kimball, the sweeper for the Panthers, who was very busy in that first half, as Shazy holds a 15-0 shot lead, will take this direct kick. Trapped down there by Stevens. She moves the ball forward to McAuliffe. McAuliffe with speed gets past Harris. Kimball is watching closely. McAuliffe looking to serve. Blocked by Sierra Harris. So throw in for Shazby deep in Crown Point territory as McAuliffe looks to be taking the quick throw in for Shazby. He throws it in to Drew Langlois. Langlois back to McAuliffe. Draws it back. Looking to get turned, steps over. Kimball watching her closely. McAuliffe serves toward the middle. Pratt was unable to get a foot on it and cleared away there by Abigail Lamont. Now it is Hadley Lucas shot toward goal, but it's going to be wide. Goal kick for the Panthers. Juliet Swan will take this goal kick. She's had a nice first half defensively, keeping Sam Gagno primarily in check. Swan, direct goal kick. Goes going to go out of bounds, so Shazy throw in. Langlois, who's recorded two assists here in the game thus far, takes that throw. Gets it in to Stevens. She's got it shoved, shoved in the back. And we got a deflection being signaled by the central official, Mr. Kowaleski. So it's going to be Shazy throwing, overriding the the line judge. Illegal throw in, and so it's going to be crown point throw. As you see in your NFHS feed, the score clock and scoreboard do not work here at Shazy. Um, we have an older system so we're going to work to upgrade that so I'll keep you updated as best I can with time as, uh, as we go along here in the second half Stevens to corner Lily Pratt nice drawback now she tries to pass the defenders a little more physical play out there by the crown point defenders early on in the second half that may have been a, a talking point corner kick for Shea Z this is their eighth corner kick of the game. Ava McAuliffe to take this corner. Yeah. 
Celia Peters got a foot on it, clears it out. Now it's Belrose looking for a shot toward goal. Georgia Belrose blocked by Duchesne right to Gagne. Gagne couldn't control it. She's then knocked down by Swan. Referee lets it go. Gagne holds her shoulder. Lexi Clark with a shot toward goal, but right to the arms of Marissa Dupree as Sam Gagne is flexing her left shoulder. Far side, Ava Peters trying to control the ball, but taken away for Shazy. Now midfield is Brooke Stevens. She tries to go with Pratt. Ball gets past Pratt. Now it's Langlois battling with Sierra Harris on the far side. Kimball now for a crown point. Going upfield, Lauren Kimball. I believe she's a senior, one of the leading scorers career-wise for crown point. This year she's played a lot on the defensive side of the ball. Abby LaFountain now, this year's leading scorer for Crown Point as she's taken away by Lexi Clark. Clark tries to clear the ball upfield, but it's off the sideline for a throw in for the Panthers. Not sure uh, they're going to try to move the ball. I guess they're moving the ball forward, although it's perfectly fine for a player to take a ball, throw in behind where it's supposed to be. You just can't go in front of it. But the official moved her forward. McAuliffe controls for Shazy now. Pressure out from Kimball on her behind. Now it is McAuliffe with lots of speed as she streaks down the sideline, gets past all the defenders. She's in alone, shot towards goal. Dupree blocks it. McAuliffe from a real tight angle, winds up beating the goalkeeper to make it four to nothing. Lauren, why you gotta be back further? She can sprint with the ball on her foot. Official score on that one, um, Ava McAuliffe from Lexi Clark. As Shazy takes a 4-0 lead. There is Clark battling out there with LaFountain. Lexi Clark. Throw in on the far side. Throwing the ball in quickly was Langlois. Now it is McAuliffe one more time. Nice through ball looking for Langlois. McAuliffe with two players on her now. Ball caroms out. It's going to be a white throw in. McAuliffe's got to be careful about that. Lauren Sawyer traps that ball down, taken away by ooh, Lily Pratt. She runs right into another player, and she is injured. Here's an opportunity. McAuliffe shot toward goal, deflected, and in. Ava McAuliffe makes it five to nothing. All right, 
So that was a, the fifth goal of the match was a hat-trick goal for Ava McAuliffe, unassisted. And that was with 33-33 remaining in the second half. Uh, Lily Pratt did come off. Uh, she was injured um, on the play up to that goal. So um, we're hoping for the best for her. Substituting in for Pratt was num is number one, Sequoia McChesney for Shazie. Throw in for Crown Point here in front of their own bench as Alyssa Duchesne takes the throw. The Fountain trying to get the ball crossed. Good defensive work by the Eagles as Lexi Clark was there to block the attempted cross. Throw in again for Crown Point. Duchesne with the throw. Clark traps it down for Shazy and Abigail LaFountain clears it off the end line, but it deflected off the Shazy player. So corner kick is awarded to Crown Point here. First corner kick of the match as Lauren Kimball will run down to take this corner kick for Crown Point. So sweeper Lauren Kimball to take this corner kick. Good looking service. Headed away by Lexi Clark. Duchesne gets her head on it. Huckrow now trying to get a piece of it. And now Gagno has it for Shazy. She takes a couple dribbles too many as there's a collision at midfield between Swan and Gagno. And Swan earns the, the call. So direct kick for Crown Point. Kimball to take this direct kick one more time. Far side bounces off of Ava Peters and cleared away by Hadley Lucas. So throw in for Crown Point as Crown Point is applying a little bit of pressure here in this second half. Harris with the throw. Bounces off of Ava Peters. So it would be Shazy. Throw in a couple substitutes as Avery Parker checks back in, as well as Amelia Smith for Shazy. Georgia Bellrose will come off, and Abby Huckrow will come off. Parker battling there with number seven is... No, excuse me, that's 11. That is... The fountain. Here's McChesney with Duchesne. Duchesne kicks the ball down toward the end line. Hadley Lucas for Shazy launches the ball forward. Abigail Lamont punches it back in. Abigail LaFountain trying to trap it down. Caitlin Harvey is there. LaFountain gets past Harvey. Shot toward goal, but is well wide as Tess Blair will get a touch on the ball for the first time this match in the Shazy goal. McAuliffe trying to get past Harris. Kimball is there. Kimball now moves the ball forward, but Lexi Clark is there for Shazy. Clark outside for Langlois. Langlois moves central, gets past Stevens. Caroms around, and Kimball tries to clear it, bounces it off of Stevens. Kimball again toward midfield. Stepping up nicely is Lucas, Hadley Lucas. Coming forward, looks for a through ball for McAuliffe. She traps it down. Sierra Harris was there to take it away nicely. Harris and McAuliffe. McAuliffe takes advantage of a long dribble. Now it's Langlois, top of the 18. Amelia Smith trying to get turned in a shot, blocked. Now coming away with it is Lauren Kimball. Ava Peters on the far side, and she shoves the Shazy player uh, I believe that is Caitlin Harvey. So direct kick for Shazy. Crown point side of midfield. 
28 minutes and 40 seconds remaining in regulation. Shazy with a 5 0 lead. Hat trick for Ava McAuliffe. Sam Gagnon with a goal and Lily Pratt with a goal. There's Gagnon trapping the ball down. Gagnon with time to turn, and she does. Square ball to Lucas. Lucas now dribbling, uses her support. Stevens forward to McAuliffe with pressure from Kimball. McAuliffe and Kimball have been uh, marked, marking each other all match. Ball goes off the end line for a goal kick. Substitution as Alexis Gibbs will check in, and she's going to take off Eleanor Harmon. Swan to take this goal kick. Langlois got a foot on it. Now it's Sierra Harris on the far side. She bounces it off of Langway, so throw in for Harris. Second leading scorer this year, two goals and five assists for Crown Point. She is the career leader in points um, here, active career leader in points for Crown Point with 10 goals and six assists. So she's drawn defensive duties here uh, this evening against Shay Z. Harvey with the throw in on the far side. Forward to McAuliffe. McAuliffe bounces it past Harris. McAuliffe central. Amelia Smith battling there with Lamont. Smith gives it to Gagno. Gagno cuts it back. Shot toward goal. Nice looking shot. Dupree is there to bounce it. And she makes the save with pressure from McChesney coming in. That hurt fingers, hurt the hand of Dupree. As the referee may have to stop the clock here and check out the, the injury situation. And she's pulling on her fingers. I wonder if she dislocated one perhaps or sprained. Clock is still running. The referee is trying to determine giving the goalkeeper as much of a chance as she can to recover so that she can continue to play. I don't think either side is worried about the clock. Perhaps that's the case, yes. And it looks like she's going to continue. She'll at least give it a shot and see what happens. Hopefully she can... She can utilize that hand. It's her right hand, it looks like, that um, took the brunt of the damage there. So Dupree punts it toward midfield. Goalkeepers are tough. Lucas, forward to Gagno, gets past Gagno and cleared away by Abigail Lamont. Get there, Abby. LaFountain checking back to help as Gagno uses her support in Parker. Parker cuts toward the middle. Nice play by Parker. She's got room looking for distribution. She loses control of it. Pushed away there by Celia Peters looking for Gibbs. Gibbs now has it. She's being badgered there by Harvey. And Parker again moves the ball forward to Gagno. Gagno, nice ball to Lucas. So they've moved Hadley Lucas to a central midfield position. Lucas looking to get toward goal. Good foot skills there. Lucas shot toward goal. Going to test the goalkeeper's hands. It bounces through her hands, but she's able to recover. Twenty-four twenty remaining in regulation. Shazy with a 5-0 lead. Here's a shot from distance by Hadley Lucas. Scooped up nicely by Marissa Dupree. Langlois traps it down. Cleared away there by Harris. McAuliffe now. Square ball to Gagno. Gagno with McChesney. Duchesne tries to clear it. Bounces it off McChesney. Now here is Stevens. She goes outside. Nice ball to the corner for Langlois. Langlois traps it. Tries to cross it. Goes off of Kimball. Calls for a handball, but no handball issued. 
as McAuliffe hustles to get the ball back from Kimball. Kimball using her body to shield. Nice work there by the defender. Ball goes off the sideline for a throw in for Shay Z. Brooks Stevens sends the ball back. Cleared away there by Munson. Here is Abigail LaFountain trying to beat her mark and Avery Parker. Parker gets control. LaFountain takes the ball back. LaFountain and Parker battling. Parker comes away with it. The eighth grade defender for Shay Z. Pushes the ball forward. Abigail Lamott is there. Taken away by Brooke Stevens. Now it's Swan. Swan looking for Duchesne. Gagno is there. Gagno trying to get turned on Duchesne. Good work by Alyssa Duchesne. Gagno now. Good check back by Duchesne. Gagno still. Pressure from Swan. Gagno tries to go far side to Langlois. Miss hits it. Langlois is going to recover. Ava Peters on her. Langlois gets past her. Ball central. Brooke Stevens. Stevens. Amelia Smith. Smith trying to get past Kimball. Kimball comes away with the ball. Lauren Kimball up the left side. Lead ball looking for Gibbs. Stepping up nicely. All the way to the other side of the field is Parker. Chest trapped down by Ava Peters, but it bounces off from her out of bounds. So Shazy throw in midway into the crown point defensive half. 21-50 remaining in regulation. 5 nothing Shazy. Kimball clears it toward midfield. Lucas now gets turned. Lucas dribbling forward. Long shot away, low shot. Cleared away by Swan. McChesney now with Duchesne. Battle of number ones down there. Duchesne with the ball. McChesney battling hard. It goes off from McChesney's throw in for a crown point. Right by the corner flag. Lamont has the ball taken away by McChesney. McChesney going to the corner. Duchesne is there. Bounces off McChesney foot off the end line for a goal kick. Duchesne tries to control the goal kick. Bounces to Hadley Lucas. Lucas trying to get past... Her defender in Lauren Sawyer. Ball bounces around. Gagno onto the foot now of McAuliffe. She traps it down. Shot in. Scores. Ava McAuliffe with her fourth goal of the match. I believe that assist goes to Sam Gagno. Shazy opens a 6-0 lead with 20 minutes and 27 seconds remaining. So official scoring on that sixth goal is Ava McAuliffe assisted by Sam Gagno. Couple substitutions is for Shazy after that goal. Camden Mayo checks in for the Eagles, as well as Georgia Bellrose. Just under 20 minutes to go here in regulation. Shazy with the 6 0 lead. Here's Mayo. She kicked the feet out from Duchesne. So direct kick for Crown Point. Oh, 
Hadley Lucas gets it forward to Gagno. Gagno, square ball looking for Smith. Gets past her. Now it's Lauren Kimball. Pressure from Amelia Smith on her back. Kimball clears toward midfield. Parker and LaFountain, who've been a twosome most of this match. Parker coming away from the, with the ball. There's a mosquito on my arm, of all things, here on October 21st. Ava! Carmen checking back in uh, for Ava Peters for the Panthers from Crown Point. It's a long bus ride home. Um, Crown Point's just about two hours from here. Doesn't matter if it's win or lose, it's a long ride home. Riley Green checks in for Crown Point, and he's going to take off uh, Abby Lamont. Langlois on the far side. A lot of players over there. LaFountain moves it interior. Lexi Clark steps up defensively and takes that ball away from Gibbs. Now it's Clark. Long strides up the left side. Lexi Clark trying to get past Green and she's sandwiched there in the corner of the 18 and Clark gets called for the foul. So a direct kick for Crown Point. So Clark tried to split the defense. You gotta stay towards that center, okay? Gibbs traps it down for Crown Point, tries to for a lead ball to LaFountain. Now LaFountain trying to beat Lexi Clark. Lexi Clark uses a safe move, pushes it off the sideline. Throw in for Shazy. 17-20 remaining here in the second half. 6-0 Shazy. Four goals by Ava McAuliffe, one by Sam Gagno, one by Lily Pratt. Here is Abigail LaFountain trying to get turned on her defender. Ball served by Lauren Sawyer, cleared away by Clark. And gets past Green and now here's Kimball with a long shot from distance. Harmon was there for Crown Point to give a little pressure. I think she would have been off sides, but Tess Blair watches the ball go off the end line as Lily Pratt will now check back in. She's gonna take off Amelia Smith. So they're going to move Hadley Lucas is going to go to a striker position and Sam Gagno moving back to stopper. Lexi Clark will sweep. So some defensive changes here for Shazy as Hadley Lucas, uh, the senior captain, going back to familiar places on the offensive side of the ball. Dangerous player for Shazy for sure. Here is McAuliffe. She gets turned looking for a lead ball. Kimball is there to block it for crown point. Kimball at midfield. Forward to LaFountain. Taking it away there was Pratt. Now is Duchesne for Crown Point. Giving it up to Green and Green and tries to clear it. Blocked there by Pratt. And now here's Lucas. Lucas with Mayo. Lucas cuts it toward the center. Duchesne is there to get her foot in the way. Pratt outside looking for Mayo. Lucas goes central for McAuliffe. Gets past Kimball. McAuliffe now top of the 18 shot. Looked like it deflected off of Harris, but the official says no. It's going to be goal kick for Crown Point. 15 and a half minutes to go here in the second half. Winner of this match will advance to take on Boquet Valley, who are 2 0 winners today over Johnsburg Minerva. Langlois gets the throw in on the far side. Stevens back to Langlois. Cleared away defensively there. One more time blocked. Harris slides in. That looked like it was dangerous. Foul called on the play, but it was just a matter of Harris losing her footing on this wet ground. And now there's some concern for Sierra Harris.
And she's able to walk around on her own. So you know, did not stop the clock. The coach did not come in the field, so that means that Harris can win the game. Going for Shazy. Either the ninth or tenth corner kick for Shay Z this match. Good looking service. Ball gets passed. Oh, Camden Mayo with a great opportunity there. Oh, a goal saving block by Alyssa Duchesne as Camden Mayo nearly had her first varsity goal. Sam Gagno for Shay Z. Dribbling forward, gets it to Lucas. She takes a long touch and cleared away by Harmon. Punched back in now by Parker, or by Belrose rather. Gagno, forward, off of Greenan. Foul on Gagno for his shoulder. It's going to be a direct kick for Crown Point. Kimball to take the direct kick. Blocked down by Sawyer. Sawyer tries to get turned. McCall for Shazy. She was looking for Stevens. Now, you know, she launches the ball forward. Kimball steps up, chest trapped down. Lots of speed. She plows into the Brooke Stevens. And a foul called on Kimball. Direct kick for Shazy. McAuliffe likely will take this now as Lucas has pushed forward. McAuliffe, nice looking ball. Trying to run onto it is Lucas, but Dupree was out to make the save. Take possession of the ball, and Dupree quickly gets a ball, ball back in play. Punts toward midfield. Gibbs is there. She traps it down. Tries to use her support in Harmon, but the ball was knocked out of play there by Audrey Langlois. Throw in for Shay Z. Langlois must have bounced it off from the defender. Now it's Lily Pratt battling there with Harris. Harris tries to cut it forward. Langlois now taken away by Harmon. It goes off the sideline for a Shazy throw. Georgia Belrose to take this throw. Square ball to Langlois. Langlois looking to serve. Gets the ball forward. Bounces off from Swan. So it's going to be a corner kick again for Shay Z. <laughs> substitutions, many substitutions. A couple new faces for both squads. Number six for Crown Point is Portia Makri. Number 18 is Megan Kimball. And for Shay Z, number 17 is, Lil is Lily Marsden. And number, who was else? 16 is Cassidy Turek. So there's your substitutes, a new face that's coming on for both squads here late in the match. McAuliffe with her goal corner kick defended. She gets it into Lucas. Lucas looking for a shot towards goal. It's on goal just wide for Hadley Lucas. Nine minutes and 15 seconds remaining here 
in the second half as Shazy with a 6 nothing lead over Crown Point. Juliet take this goal kick. She's played a nice game defensively for Crown Point. Trapped down by Lucas, but it was a long trap, and Kimball was there to clear it away. Here's Turek. Turek forward to Marsden. Ball is taken away by big back Lexi Clark. Looking to distribute the ball to the midfield. McAuliffe picks it up for Shazy. McAuliffe forward to Lucas. Lucas gets turned. Tries to get past Greenan. Lucas with a long shot. It's just wide. Had good, good uh, distance to it. As clearly they're trying to get Hadley a goal here. She doesn't have any goals. She has nine career goals and six career assists. Uh, but this year she's been tasked with being the defensive anchor back there and holding holding the defense strong for Shazy. Oftentimes you find stronger players. Um, coaches will fill that valuable sweeper position with some strong players with good foot skills, and Hadley Lucas fits that bill. 7.40 remaining here in the second half. McAuliffe gets the ball in, taps it down. Her supporting Gagno. Gagno back to Lucas past her and cleared away by Lamont. Turek traps it down. She loses it and cleared away by Harmon. Lexi Clark's lots of time for Shay Z. No real pressure. Shamakri was there. Substitute for Crown Point as Duchesne Gibbs Celia Peters check back. It's Crown Point is utilizing their entire bench, as is Shay Z. Good um, sportsman Brad Peters for Crown Point and Coach Sam Signer for Shay Z to get all of their bench players opportunities to get out there and play under the lights in an important championship um, tournament game. This type of experience is invaluable, so uh, really important for both squads and young players especially. Hadley Lucas with a nice move. Nice shot towards goal, blocked away by Dupree. Hustling after it is as an example of why coaches will always tell you, follow your shot to the goal. So Pratt, Pratt was there, but she took a couple steps late as Dupree spilled that ball. She wasn't able to get it initially, but a good shot, a good work up to that shot and opportunity by Hadley Lucas. Goal kick. Approaching five minute mark. And at five minutes, the whenever Shazy makes a substitution, the clock will stop. And it's a time wasting measure, anti time wasting measure um, that the um, New York State uh, put into play a couple years ago. And I think it's a good move. Um, here's a goal kick for Crown Point as time is winding down on their season. Lily Marsden battling there with Alexis Gibbs. Gibbs earned the throw in. It's gonna be taken by Swan. Swan throws it in, blocked, blocked out by Marsden. Throw in again by Swan. Gagno, thigh trap. Now it's McAuliffe. She goes square ball looking for Stevens. Hartman was there. Now it's Marcia Makri challenging Bellrose. McAuliffe now clears the ball toward the defense. Now trying to get past Lamont. Here, oh, nice ball by Lucas. Here's Lily Pratt. Score on a nice assist by Hadley Lucas. Lily Pratt scores her second goal of the match. Seven nothing Eagles.
And we're back. Official score on that seventh goal was Lily Pratt from Hadley Lucas with 421 remaining in regulation. There's Pratt taking the ball away. She's trying to return the favor to Lucas. Now the ball on the outside to Marsden. Lily Marsden. Nice cutback. Send square ball to Pratt uh, to Lucas, Lucas getting turned, gets past Duchesne. Lucas, top of the 18, working hard, trying to get a shot. She's knocked down by Celia Peters, going to be a direct kick. And I can bet you dimes to donuts it's going to be Hadley Lucas on this direct kick. 340 shot, and it's just over the crossbar as she looks to the heavens. Goal kick here for Crown Point. So fairly safe to say Shay Z will face Boquet Valley in the semifinals here at George Brownler Field. It'll be their third matchup this season, each team taking one victory. So that'll be a very good matchup of the number three seed and the number two seed um, in the semifinal of Section 7 Class D. Another direct kick here is Lucas appears to be a little bit hobbled by that foul, holding her groin. That's not a good sign if she gets injured here. As she is an integral part of the Shazy team. Lucas shot towards goal. And, oh, what a save by Dupree. It got through her hands and she saved it before it crossed the line. Wonderful save by Marissa Dupree. As Hadley Lucas thought she had the goal, but a great save by the crown point keeper. Two and a half minutes remaining in regulation. Lamont clears the ball past midfield. Bellrose is there for the Eagles. She's looking to use her square help with Clark. Clark now being guarded there by Megan Kimball. Now it's McAuliffe, chips the ball over Duchesne's head. McAuliffe still, nice lead ball looking for Lucas. Also there was Marsden, cleared away by Swan. Two minutes. Gagneau goes to the sideline. McAuliffe is hustling. She gets past Gibbs. McAuliffe now going central, looking for a through ball, blocked by Swan. McAuliffe heads the ball forward. Now Lucas, top of the 18, Kimball on her back. Lucas trying to get around, cleared away by Sawyer. Now it's Gagneau. Gagneau, past Celia Peters. Gagneau's knocked down, direct kick again. And again, it will be Hadley Lucas. Direct kick right at the top of the arc. Minute 20 to go. Shazy's not hustling all that much to get this direct kick off. One minute. Hadley Lucas with the direct kick. Shot toward goal. It's going to go over. Yeah. Got a little too much on that. And I think she's discouraged. I think the realization's come into play. She may not score this game, but there's always the next game. Swan to take the goal kick. 45 seconds remaining. 7 nothing. Shay Z. Handball called on Brooke Stevens. Direct kick for Crown Point. Kimball runs over to take this direct kick. Stevens tries to trap it, gets past her. Langlois is going to watch it go out of bounds. Throw in for crown point. 20 seconds. Throw in for Shazy. No, they're going to let it sit there. McAuliffe, now she boots it up the sideline. Onto the foot of Pratt. Pratt gets turned. She goes forward. Swan is there to clear it away, and that's going to do it here from George Brownler Field. The final in this Section 7 Class D quarterfinal. Shazy 7, Crown Point 0. Thank you for watching Hometown Cable. If you enjoyed this broadcast, please consider a donation. Hometown Cable is entirely viewer-supported. 
Send your donations to 1477 Ridge Road. Is that right? 1477 Ridge Road, Champlain, New York, 12919. Calvin Castine's been doing this for 30 plus years. And um, he does a great job. And also for the NFHS Network, I'm Lee Barcombe. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.